Hello, everyone. I'm sure that you know someone or the other who is always like that they hate developing on Windows and they can only develop efficiently on a Mac or on Ubuntu. While in the past, these things were valid. Uh, but for the past two years, Microsoft has done some really good work to uh, kind of enhance their WSL offering, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux. And recently, they also launched the Windows terminal, which is the new Windows terminal, which is integrated for your command prompt, PowerShell, Ubuntu, and so on. So I think with these two offerings, if you combine and set up your environment well, I don't see any reason to you know, shy away from developing anything on Windows. So what we'll do today is we'll we'll try to host a static website uh, on our Ubuntu environment on Windows and kind of see how easy it is to play around with it. Uh, I obviously have my Ubuntu installed. So I had to turn on my WSL Windows feature and then install Ubuntu. Um, there are tons of tutorial online how to do it. So I'll not be getting into that, uh, but let's see uh, what it looks like once it's installed. All right, so what I have open here is the Windows Terminal. Uh, I have it I have it to open Command Prompt by default, as you can see. And if I see what else I have here, I have the PowerShell and I have Ubuntu as well. So let's go ahead and open the Ubuntu, which connects to the Windows subsystem. Um, like we talked about. And with just that one click, we are already in a Linux environment. So like I said, that we'll try to we'll try to host a static website. So obviously to do that, we need to install Apache first. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So um so without you know worrying about any virtual boxes and trying to connect to uh, here and there, we're already in. Um, we will go to the default Apache folder and it should have the index.html here, which is fine. Now we need our website. So I already have this website on my GitHub profile, which I developed back in the day for uh, for, a, for a AWS workshop. So we'll just go ahead and clone that. Okay. So let's clone that. And let's hop into the folder real quick. So it has its CSS, its JS, and the index.html. So that's already there now. Next thing that we need to do is um, the start Apache. So we'll go ahead and do that so that it loads uh, this guy up. Now, going back to our browser, the way this works, it should already be at the local host so let's open that guy up and as you can see that without wasting a lot of time we are already here and the static website is already built now that we saw our website let's try to see another uh, another cool feature before closing this up um so let's assume that you like um uh, developing your websites from id like visual studio code right um, which is a very common use case. So um, you can actually open the ID from within the Linux subsystem, which I think is pretty cool. So before going there, we just need to change um, change the permission of this folder so that we are able to make edits. So I have given permissions uh, to my user ID. Um, so now let's try to open the Visual Studio Code. So code and then I'm giving a dot so that it opens in the current folder. What this will do is it will actually load up the Visual Studio UI on Windows, but in the background, it will be connecting to the Linux subsystem, uh, which is basically it's making a remote connection um, from within Windows. Um, so let's give it a bit to load up. Um, and what we'll do is we'll quickly change the footer here as this old website let's go ahead and change the footer and we see real quick uh, that that guy is reflecting okay so back to visual studio code as you can see that it's made a remote connection to wsl ubuntu uh, which is what we wanted um 
and it's loading up all the resources here. Um, so let's quickly find the footer, change it to host on, uh, host on WSL and we change the year. And then I hit save, right? So now let's go back to the website. And as you can see that this change is reflected. So it's very well integrated and you can also go ahead and open the terminal and this will actually open the terminal directly to, you know, um, directly to the Linux environment. So, yeah, so that's what I had to cover. And uh, hopefully you get a couple of points to hit back to people who are always like that they don't like developing on Windows.